What's going on, guys? <clears throat> so, started the playoffs. We're going to be playing the Browns today. Uh, played him in the regular season. It was 21-14, and if memory serves, Odell Beckham had like 150, 130 yards, something like that. Um, so, really need to work on containing him. I don't even think Jarvis had a big game. I think it was really Beckham and Joku. Chubb and Hunt were contained from... If I'm remembering right. And... Pretty sure they were disruptive, disrupting the throwing lanes that I tried to use, so... Definitely going to play a little conservative and just try to run the ball and work... <coughs> and work through it. Coach, and take my time, set everything up, and not get antsy. carry now for Nick Chubb and from the 25 they work this to the 29 a gain of four well, I think that's what they're going to need to do here in the first half you've got to take some pressure off of this young quarterback and no better way to do it than to establish the running game early they go with Chubb on second down and now they're going to get him down right at the line of scrimmage a tough spot here on their opening drive this is third and seven from the gun, Mayfield, nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Raekwon McMillan with a big-time sack on third down. It's a loss of seven. Man, he got in there so quickly, Charles. What could the offense have done to adjust and account for that? But what you're hoping is that you figure out and you see and get a clue that maybe there's going to be some pressure coming at you, and you change the blocking schemes. Maybe you go to max protection. The biggest one is maybe you bring your running back in to try and keep you clean. But in that case, that didn't happen. Zero accountability, and a sack resulted. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Let's go. 53 to Mike. 53 to Mike. Now it's Rosen. You all day. All day. I'm Open man, you. it's Preston Williams. Well, that's good for a first down. There's a guy who went over 1,000 yards Here receiving in the regular go. season, and now Here he's got go. his first catch of the playoffs. So I'm thinking they have enough speed in the secondary to cover <clears throat> to cover oh, uh, my motion spot, particularly my read where it's gonna where I'd like it to go to Gasecki, but I'm gonna try and see. Back to back good go, plays go. have him on the move on Mike, first down. Mike, From the gun, it's Rosen. Push him back. Push him back. Throw left side complete. That's Grant. And they'll get this Come one on, to about baby. the 20-yard line. Another big gainer that time. This one goes for 19 yards. Probably me to jump in on you, partner, but they didn't waste any time getting downfield, did they? I mean, a nice big play there. Three plays, three successful plays in plus territory. Now this defense on its heels a bit. It seems like they had something targeted there, doesn't it? It's like, okay, we've got a matchup we like coming right out of the gate. Let's go ahead and get right to it. Another strong gain on the last two plays. They've moved it a combined 33 yards. And perhaps now close to the first points of this divisional round. And he'll take this into the end zone for a Dolphins touchdown. A six-yard touchdown run. As his guys are able to strike first here in this opening corner. One of the keys to their long winning streak has been scoring first. An ideal drive right there, getting the first six points of the ball game. Do you go back to our meeting with the offensive coordinator? Oh, yeah. What he told us? Absolutely. With some teams, I script to probe in the early part of the game. Other teams, I script to attack. They've been in attack mode for these ball games and continue that in this one. And no run back here. Let's this go, will baby. be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Heading out as the Cleveland offense now as they get set to take over here. And the first drive, three and out. Second possession. See if they can get a little momentum. 
And oftentimes that first drive is just a feeling out process. You have some plays that you've got called and you want to see how defense reacts. It may not go terrific on the first one. Now they're ready to go. They've kind of got to look offense. at them, got a sense. Let's see if they open things up a little bit. See if they open things up. Let's see what Still the defense down. does here, too, after a good stop. They're backed up here with a first and 20 now after the holding single, penalty. Single, single, single. Following the penalty, Chubb. And he'll lose yardage on this one back to the 13. A loss of two there, second down. Plays like we just saw there, that's why they're up right now. And the defense, they're doing their job. Yeah, it starts with the guys up front. So when you talk with GMs who are putting together a team, a lot of them say, we're going to build from the inside out because if you control the line of scrimmage, you control the rest of the ball game, and that's what we're seeing here. They're actually playing in the offense's backfield, not necessarily just playing in the line of scrimmage. Third and long for Mayfield. That one is caught by Hunt, and he gets it here to right around the 24 before he's out of bounds. It's a four-yard pickup, and it'll be fourth down. Well, that's certainly playing down in distance very well by the defense, isn't it? Take whatever you want underneath, by all means. And the punt team on now as this one's sent away. Returnable for Grant. Give him 11 yards that time on the return. Let's go, brother. And possession will switch. Hands first and 10. Out comes the Miami offensive unit now. They get set to take over. Now they'll be looking to duplicate the efforts of drive number one that resulted in seven points in the seven-zip lead. Well, you know how much I enjoy horse racing, right? Looks like they caught a flyer out of the gate, as they would say, when you run into big-time races. It means they get out to a fast start. They're setting the pace, making the other team chase now. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. 25 yards there on the catch and run. And, boy, they had high praise for this rookie receiver when we asked the coaches about him, didn't they? They certainly did, and obviously they liked his measurables. Otherwise, they wouldn't have brought him onto the team. Height, weight, speed, all of that. But how about what they really said? Let's go. Competitiveness. Let's do it. That's what they really liked about him. The way he goes after the football, competes for it, and decides when it's in the air, it's his and only his. Let's go. To throw is Rosen. Well, this is caught by Williams. And they've got it inside the 10 at the 8. Back-to-back -back nice gains. That one for 14 yards and another first. And just a small glimpse there as to why they like this rookie so much. And that's why they lit up a little bit in our meetings with the coaching staff. Yeah, when we talked about him. Yeah, yeah, you know, they like his work ethic. You know, this guy's running every route well in the route tree, getting better at it all the time, really honing his game. They expect a pretty good jump out of him as things continue to move on. A good pick up there, seven yards, and it's going to be second and goal. And he is in. Touchdown, Miami. Punching it in from a yard Good away. Job, and the Good Dolphins job. are able to extend that advantage. And there you go. Nothing really too complex. Block, keep your assignments. Let them run it in. They did it. Fundamental football. Good blocking. Beats good tackling on that play. End result, touchdown. So that drive spanned five plays. And it was all polished off by Daryl Henderson's touchdown run. This is taken about seven yards deep. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. The Browns offense trotting back on the field. Already down two touchdowns here in the first half. This becomes a pretty important drive, doesn't it? It certainly does, and a lot of teams script plays. We know that, right? They, they have a script to start the ball game, and typically those scripts go between 12 and 24, 25 plays. Down two touchdowns early. Probably not very deep into their script. I think that they'll stay with it. I don't think they'll abandon it just yet and try and generate some offense on this drive. Anything. At least three points get that zero off the board. Mayfield hands it off to Chubb. Seven yards on the carry. Make it third and four coming up. Even though they gave up more than they wanted to on that play, it actually illustrates how well they bottled them up throughout the game because that was his longest run of this contest. Second quarter action, two minutes to go on Divisional Round Weekend. We remind you, as we've done all year, that coming up at halftime, we will visit with Jonathan Coachman standing by at Orlando. He'll let you know what's going on here on a very eventful division. And the defense has it covered. It's intercepted. Cordray Tankersley with a pick. 
And he will score. Touchdown, Miami. Hey, that's the way you finish, boy. Finish strong. Yeah, let's go. Part of what we just saw, that's a great example of a team that was really amped up. They've been playing so well, yet they didn't get overexcited and have a bust on defense and gave up a big play. Instead, they created their own big play with a pick six. This one may be over. Yeah, it's just the first half, but that lead is swelled to the point where you're wondering if it is over already. This is taken about seven yards deep. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Baker Mayfield leads the offense out for their next possession. In second quarter, they're down big already. He's struggling as well. They've got to find something here. He's got to find something on this drive. And sometimes you take on all the... Into heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Jerome Baker, and he's able to get it back to the 41-yard line. Woo, pick, baby. Good stuff. That's sort Keep of a second there. quarter to forget for him. Now two picks in this frame. Almost as if the first one that he threw, he couldn't shake, couldn't get it out of his head. He ends up throwing a second one as a result. Compounds the mistake a little bit. Yeah, you got to be able to forget, compartmentalize, whatever you want to call it, and move on. He hasn't been able to do so here in the second. And he's got this down almost to the 20 before he's dropped. Right about 20 yards on the pickup. Well, officially, they'll say it's going to go for 19. Throws into the offense with a first and 10. And he's completed all seven of his passes thus far. Under pressure, and he'll go down. Sacked back at the 31. It's the former Dolphin All-Pro, Olivier Vernon. It'll go as a loss of about eight as he gets in there to drop him on second down now. It's Henderson, and he'll get him inside the 15 down to the 14-yard line. Now the Dolphins going to burn the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 37 seconds to play in this first half. Now Rosen looking at a third and two, flush to his right. That is caught by Williams for a Dolphins touchdown. touchdown. Preston Williams there to make the grab. And the Dolphins are able to extend that advantage. Heard a coach talk about those late in the half scores, especially ones that give your team a pretty decent cushion. He said those could be the ones that can finish off a squad if you let them. Yeah, they've got the cushion. This half has been theirs. This is taken about seven yards deep. And no run back here. This Let's will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. The offense trots back out there. Let's turn our focus now to Nick Chubb. They haven't been able to get him on track. They haven't been able to get this offense on track. No points so far. Maybe it's time to start doing a few different things. Throwing the ball a little bit. Maybe featuring other people oh, touching yeah. it for a while. And then you've got a chance to come back to him when things have changed a little bit. They have to make an adjustment. Well, still time for him here as we sit in the second quarter. From the 30 on second down, Mayfield. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Sacked there by Nick Perry, the outside hey, linebacker. Hey, baby, your socks. Hey, take your socks off, back to home. Socks off, back to And unless this is a quick incompletion, this is likely the last play here of this first half. Please, please. Final play of the half, Mayfield. And he's got the hook up to Landry. And he'll be stopped at the 27-yard line, here, well baby. short of the Go first down here. marker. And just like that, wow. we head That's to half number two. A rough half for the Browns. <clears throat> so I'm going to put two clock on just to try to get through this game. Um, I don't see my offense. Uh, well, I don't see my offense not scoring points for an entire half, and my defense giving up 28. So. For the sake of trying to get get through the season, so I can start the off season. And we hear all the time when upsets happen, teams go on the road that maybe home field advantages and all it's cracked up to be. But you and I both know the reality is teams really fight hard to get it. Why? You don't ever have to change routine. Everything's familiar going into the game. It makes things easier, and that has paid off for them in a big way in this contest. And able to get this one across the 45 it, before he's brought work. down. Give him 12 yards there, and the Dolphins have a first down. They'll go back to Henderson on first down. 
And he's going to take this across the 50 into Brown's territory. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. Third quarter, and you've got the lead. You're not ready to go into that four-minute offense to close the game out, but a running game can really benefit your team right now. And that play will go nowhere. Losing yardage back near midfield at the 49. It's a loss of two, now third down. On third down, Rosen. Got a man, it's complete. Williams. There we go. And they're going to have another first down. All this right. is going to be Back to the Rams. 38-yard line. Fired that one in there, able to make connection on a nice in route. With those faster passes and they're going that fast, any hesitation as a quarterback that the deflection, if you miss, might be bigger and lead to an interception? Yeah, and the deflection works both ways. Maybe a defender gets a hand in the way and it pops in the air. And sometimes you throw it so hard your receiver can't handle it, and he pops it up in the air for the defenders to grab as well. But a moot point there is they were able to connect. That one good for 13 at a Dolphin first down. Here's Henderson. Switch, switch, switch. And an alley to run. And he takes it down to the 10-yard line. Back-to-back -back -back nice gains. That one for 14 yards and another first. A well, lots of praise on this drive, obviously. I, I know you're seeing what I'm seeing. Those guys up front, they're getting it done. Doesn't matter what play is called. They are handling their business at the line of scrimmage and dominating right now on this drive. And here he'll get it down to the seven. Yeah, give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. Again, it's Balazs. And he will take it in for a Dolphins touchdown. Kalen Balazs, his second touchdown of the afternoon as his guys continue to put this one out of reach. Apparently the week off hasn't hurt him one bit. Thousand-yard rush in the regular season. Got his first touchdown here in the playoffs. Perhaps the week off energized him. A great. Oh, this is blocked. The Browns have it. Well, that's a bit of an issue. Please catch him. Please catch him. Please catch him. Thank you. Get no further as he's brought down <laughs> inside of the goal line. That was scary. But all he'll get is knowledge that the extra point is no good. You and I have not met a coaching staff yet that likes to coach negative situations. You know, even plant let's that go, in their head. Go, go. But you have to work on what happens if you get an extra point blocked. Because now they can pick it up and return it for two points. You have to go over that. Nice job to get back there and make the tackle, preventing them from getting all the way. Here's Nick Chubb as they try to fire up this run game. And oh, he sheds a tackle. Now he's got some space. And he's out of bounds, but not before a big pickup that time on what's going to wind up being the final play of the third quarter. One quarter remains for the right to advance to the AFC title game. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. So the big play moves him all the way across midfield to the 40 now for first and 10. And that is caught on the right sideline, but out of bounds, says the line judge. The throw took him a little too far. It's second down. So second down and 10. Once again, they'll go from the 40. It's the party now. Throwing. Mayfield drops it off for Chubb. And give him six yards here as he's stopped near the 35 at the 34. He's already proven to be a factor in the running game on this drive. Now he gets involved in the passing game. I think what we're seeing here is the modern version of workhorse in the NFL. Being able to run it and catch it with equal proficiency. And he's got his man. That's Landry. Let's go! But we always hear about the connections some quarterbacks have with certain receivers. I think this guy has a connection with just about everyone. Didn't mind throwing it in there against double coverage to him. Show some confidence, supreme confidence. Big time confidence that he would make the play for him, and he did. And he's going to be stopped up right at the line of scrimmage. Now those linemen, of course, can't be more than a yard down. That's nice. Love how the left tackle just takes off. 
I thought it was going to be a little bit. He just, <laughs> he just took off around it. They'll throw again. Here's Mayfield. He's going to let it go deep for the And that's going to be caught. Okay. Touchdown. Odell Beckham. He wasn't ready. He wasn't ready. And the Browns get a score closer. So, my man, another touchdown. They're looking like the number one seed that they earned throughout the year. Looking pretty dominant right now. We knew the road to the Super Bowl would run right through this stadium. Somebody's going to have to come in here and beat these guys. Good luck. Yeah, I don't think it's happening this weekend. No, definitely not this weekend. And for anyone else out there, bring your game. Fire, beware. Let's field it at the two. And nice work on the return as they'll start their drive on, boy, just go. past the 30-yard line. The Dolphins offense now heads back on the field. We've got a lopsided game here. I don't know, Charles, what does the handbook say that we, we discuss when we've got a game like this in the fourth quarter? Hold a second, let me, let me thumb to the proper page on that. Know what it check says? Check well, let's discuss how we got here. This is a dominant performance where they took control of this game, how they've managed to keep control of this game, and then we go ahead and think about how we're going to leave here and get to the airport. In a lopsided blowout, the roads are usually Let's go, baby. Give him 15 yards on that one, and the Dolphins have a first down. Now, this is an example of breaking down a defense because on a lot of these runs, he's getting past the point of attack, and guess what he's doing? Forcing the secondary guys to have to make a lot of tackles. Henderson now on first and 10. And he's going to take this across the 50 into Brown's territory. A nice run there, nine yards, and it'll be second down. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So the Dolphins have it as we welcome you back uh, middle, in. Middle, middle, middle. They've got a second down now as they look to salt this one away. Again, it's Henderson. And now look at this. Big gain, but a fumble. And this is picked up by the Browns. Seriously? And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Get it, get it. The psychology of the game never ceases to amaze me because you would think there would never be a fumble from what we hear from coaches all the time, right? And how much they practice not fumbling. Practice it, preach it, talk about it all the time. You would think no one would ever turn it over. Nowhere to escape. That's a little frustrating. That's supposed to be Henderson's, like, touchdown. He is so tough to handle on the blitz, and that's exhibit A. Coming up now on a second and 15 following that sack. The throw over the middle taken in. And he's able to get up here to the 26. Now the Browns will use the first of their three timeouts. As they'll talk it over here before what will be an important third down. From the shotgun, it's Mayfield. He's going to let it fly. And this is, oh my goodness. Seriously? He it in one-handed. A big play that time for Cleveland. 41 yards. It's caught by OBJ. I mean, does it really matter? OBJ is going to make a one-handed catch anyway. Now the Dolphins going to burn the first of their timeouts. It's just their first. They've got two more to use here in the final stages. Set a tone, fellas. Let's set a tone. Mayfield with it once more. He's going to dump this off to his running back, Hunt. They don't pick that it'll be a pickup of just two, and it'll bring up a Watch second down. Now that another timeout right. called for by the offense as they get it right at the 32nd mark of this what fourth what quarter. Got? What we got? Throwing again on second down. Mayfield, it's caught, back him. That catch good for only a yard, and it'll be third down. Here we go, D. Hey, it's, just, it's, just, it's just me and you. It's just me and you. It's just me and you. On third down, Mayfield. And this is caught. I think he got that with one hand. I was really wanting them to oh, chuck that to Beckham. That's what I'm talking about. Nice hit, boy. As they get it with just 19 seconds left on the clock. The field goal does you no good, so they're going to stay out there and go for it on four. Tight right, tight right, tight right. Now Mayfield on fourth down. Three down, three down. 
Watch 85. Oh, go He's 85. got his tight end, David Njoku. <laughs> but he will be stopped behind the line. God. As he really Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. He was pat. <laughs> Njoku was past the marker. All he has to do, right? So he catches it. Okay, they needed, they were at what, the 10 to start this? Sure. They, they essentially need to get to the 9. So, he gets it at the 8. And if he steps out at that point, that's a first down. Instead, he breaks the tackle. Get He's back at the 11 now. And then gets hit. <laughs> Time oh, remaining, man. and the Dolphins' defense is able to hold. First down, Miami, as they get set to start the drive, and they've got this one in hand. No timeouts remaining defensively, so this one should just be one kneel and then handshakes. And he'll be brought down. Oh, that's a face mask. Certainly looked like it. Indeed, here come the flags. Defense. They're down here in the fourth, and that personal foul penalty is not going to help. <sighs> okay. Yeah, Henderson's at 121. I feel, I feel a little bit better. You, that's extra intensity. From where we sit, it's actually frustration. Not a good play. I can get to the 40. Position I can the face mask drop and then... First and 10 out here midfield. From the gun to give to Henderson. And taking it across midfield Dang it. That's not in time. The Come on, baby. Let's the go. Take that would have been, what, 59-yarder? So they stay alive in the NFL oh, well. playoffs, move on to the conference championship. And do you think that the printing press is starting to get those T-shirts and hats ready, my friend? They have to, Brandon. They have to be ready because if you win, you've got to hand those out on the field right away. And just think about the pressure for the players now. Families are going to be talking about tickets to the Super Bowl even before you play the conference championship game. So that's a wrap for Charles Davis. Alright, I'm going to advance to the conference championship and then I'm going to end this video. Alright, actually I'm going to knock out training upgrade players and then <laughs> end the video. Alright, I think that's gonna be about it for this video. Oh, Drum Baker got it. Cool. Yeah, that's gonna be that's gonna be it for this video. Uh, be sure to watch the next one for the conference championship.